this is where the problem starts. That is just a no-go. As a professional cleaner, I have tried many cleaning tools. And after receiving this in one of my hampers that I won, which I'm totally grateful for, I entered into a draw where the money, the proceeds go to helping animals, and I actually won the cleaning hamper. How funny is that? Anyways, when I received this, I decided this is the time to make this video. So today I want to talk about that one item that often gets overlooked in your tools. And that is the toilet brush. I know it's not the most glamorous topic, but I think it's one that we do need to have. Having the right toilet brush can actually help in keeping your bathroom clean and hygienic. So let's dive into my top recommended toilet brushes and those that fall short of what I feel meet my standard. Traditional toilet brushes can be messy and so unhygienic, especially if you need to cart them from one place to the other. I would suggest every toilet should have its own toilet brush and as a cleaner I would not recommend carrying one around with you. I do not carry one with me, that is just a no-go. I rely on my clients to have the best one when I get there. Unfortunately not everybody is as educated as they can be in toilet brushes. So I'm here to tell you which ones I would pass and which ones I really do not like. So let's start with the toilet brushes that get my thumbs up. The disposable toilet brush. So this toilet brush is really cool. It actually comes with a head that attaches to it. Into your toilet, you go around the bowl, clean it nicely, go in as deep as you can. It's actually really, really easy to get into most of the crevices and grooves. I would say this is a really great one. They are Quite a few out there. I know there's Colorox, You and Home, Boomjoy, and Scotch Bright. I think there's quite a few. And these you can find at Amazon ranging from $24 to $80. It can be quite costly considering that you have to keep buying those refills, but these are probably the most hygienic ones out there. You don't have to store it anywhere, and you just pop that little pad into the bin when you're done, and it's gone. Then my next one is the OXO toilet brush. This one comes with a canister and this one is really great. So when it's stored away it's beside your toilet, it's actually enclosed in its canister. And when you take it out, it stays open until you put your toilet brush right back into it again. The brush is tapered and the bristles are quite sturdy. So it gets into all those little grooves and it is quite good at cleaning off the grime on your toilets. I do like that it's in the canister when it's stored away. Once it's in there, the water evaporates, so you have no liquid sitting in there afterwards. These you can get from Amazon. I think they start from about $32. Then there's the one that I like to use, which is pretty much my favorite. It's not an expensive one. I call it the dual brush. Now, when I say dual brush, it's got the one brush on the top and it's got the other brush at the back. So the one is for inside your bowl and the other one will go into the grooves around the rim. I also like that it cleans in the the grooves of where your toilet is round, it gets quite in there and cleans out that area, which I find the round ones don't always do. You can get these on Amazon for $19.95 and you get two of them, which is a bargain, or you can get them at Bunnings or Woolworths and they start from about $10. Now we're going to talk about the ones that don't make the cuts. First one is your typical plastic brush. This one you can find in pretty much any store and it is relatively cheap. While it does do the job, they don't last very long. I do find that they are not the most hygienic of options. They do tend to rust a lot more and the plastic does break very easily. I managed to break one recently. The next one on the list is the stainless steel one. These you can get in so many different varieties. You can get them in black, silver, you can even get them in bronze. People want to match it up with what their bathroom design is. So for instance, they match it up with the toilet holder, which is the same design. All your taps and your fi other fixtures in your bathroom are silver or bronze, and you want to match it up together. They do look a lot more lani um, on the higher end. However, they tend to start rusting after a while, which I have noticed personally. I don't like that when you close it, the top surface that serves as the lid um, comes with the whole brush when you are cleaning. It tends to get in the way. Personally, I can't stand it. I feel like they're very flimsy. They're not as sturdy as they could be. These do do a job. They do clean. I just wouldn't recommend them personally. Also, I don't like the fact that all the water gathers up inside, builds up at the bottom, and it just gets fuller and fuller and fuller. Here is an example of one of my clients where I found a lot of liquid in it when I went to go clean the other day. And as much as I do leave them to dry, I'm not always there to clean. So whoever does clean, puts it back in there, and that liquid is just building up and getting 
or icky and unhygienic. I'm sure it also causes a bit of a smell in the bathroom after a while. So these you can get from Bunnings from $4.50 to $23, depending on what kind you're looking at or what designs, some are more expensive. You can also get them on Amazon, I think they're about $8 there. Then we come to the culprit that caused me to do this video. So, I opened this up the other day. I was very grateful to get this gift. I did tell you that in the beginning, I entered a raffle, I won, and it so happened to be a cleaning hamper. All the items in there were amazing. I want to try a few out, maybe test them with you guys, but this one particularly, I don't like. So this is your typical silicon toilet brush. I don't like it. I really don't. So first of all, putting it together, you put it together like this. So now you're joining those two together. This here will go into the toilet when you are cleaning it. So now you've got all that liquid getting in there, the dirt is building up in there, I don't want anything that's filthy in between here. Can you imagine what it's going to be like after a while? Unless you are cleaning this thing properly all the time. Secondly, they say that this doesn't attract grime and water. Now I tend to disagree with that. One of my clients has one of these and, and when I pull it out of the drip tray or canister, whatever it is, there is definitely liquid inside there. It's not evaporating away. I don't feel these clean properly. They do not. I, I cannot remove the grime as well as I can with a proper brush. It's getting to a stage where I'm wanting to go purchase something to put there for when I come and clean because I cannot deal with this thing. So, this set that I got also comes with a round one. Also very cool. I like that it's round, but look how soft these bristles are. I mean, it really is not cleaning anything might take a little bit of the slime scale off the sides but this these I think for a day-to-day -day use no problem but I wouldn't say high maintenance proper cleaning would do the job with these two items then it came with this as well this is probably your rim brush which will go around the rim it does have bristles on which seem to be quite good this would probably work my concern is how small the handle is however if it's just for the room it should be fine but this is a lot better than the other two that came in the pack now we get to the interesting part so it comes in one of these this looks really nice if i put this next to my toilet it's going to look fancy modern clean and then it comes with this which you will pull off the sticker Stick it against your wall and it will attach to there and you can hang it off of the wall. It does have a little bit of a base here that sits on the floor. It's also nice when you are cleaning the floors not to have anything really on the floor. However, this is where the problem starts. So you've got this piece that fits into here. It has holes in the bottom for the water to drip through. So when you take your toilet brush and put it back in, the water will come out the bottom and then feed into this. The problem with this is, it's got a hole in it. You see that? Surely you guys can put two and two together already. Water in here, water in here. It's gonna run right out, right out onto your floor. I don't think that is very clever. I don't think it was thought through very well. Now, this is just the one item that I was given. The others that I have seen don't really have the hole in the bottom. They're just a very small little piece, which that fits into. But I think you guys have got the gist of this. I don't like this item. If I have to see this in a house, I actually want to run away. This is the worst thing to clean with. If you disagree with me, that is fine. This is definitely my opinion only. I am not saying that it is the right opinion. I just feel, as a cleaner, this is not doing a job for me. I have to find other ways to get the toilets cleaner by using more abrasive chemicals to try and eat away the dirt because this is not doing the job. I think you've had enough of a lecture for one day. And I think that you understand that I do not like these things. I have given you my recommendations and I've given you the ones I don't like. 
there are many different types of toilet brushes out there you will find the one that you prefer the most like i said i like the dual one let me know in the comments below which one you prefer i would love to try the corolox one out i'm probably going to order one of those just for home see how it goes because that could be a handy one for me if i can find a cheap option to take around to my clients because it's disposable then i won't have this unhygienic item traveling with me from one job to the next but love to hear in the comments below what you guys thought of this video let me know and i hope to see you in the next one